I think it's very important uh, looking at initiatives like that, the One Small Town Initiative. I know Catherine Austin Fitz has, has been emphasising small communities coming together, supporting each other, because I think, you know, what we're looking at into the the future hold for us is the development of these smart cities which are going to be very centralized using ai with uh people connected uh through these um, implants through these neural links where they and it's all centralized controlled and so i think we need to go in the other direction of like something like what you're you're describing uh, this uh, one small town initiative and and I, and i think that's very important you know to to this bigger picture too you know we've been talking about enki the the poss- his possible return but i think uh what that represents is the return of that ancient science of alchemy and shamanism you know going away from these centralized belief systems with uh priests and popes into a kind of more individualistic expression of spirituality where you connect with source within and 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 connect with the uh, natural power around you like in in the rocks or in the these tor- toroid rocks that you've been describing that i think yeah that's the way we need to go yeah michael this is so important um and this is i think this is why the one small time initiative is just, it's catching on it's exponential we've we've had to slow down a little bit because uh, literally a, just a year ago we launched the one small time initiative a year ago and then realized well uh, we launched it a year ago with our new uh, cryptocurrency our one small time token so we've we've got a solution for the global financial system as well uh, in within the one small town family with your own digital wallet you can share your tokens free of charge with anybody do your trading do whatever you want this is our own own you know i'll get back to that but but I suddenly so we launched it and we we had the first one small town in Lebanon that just launched just more than a year ago in South Africa and it started to suddenly attract attention and um then we realized well we don't have a mechanism to for this thing to be controlled and managed how how does it work how do people know you know the whole one small town initiative of contribution is is based that we we launched this ourselves as a community and all we have to do is contribute 3 hours a week each one of us pledges to contribute 3 hours a week towards our businesses and upgrading our town and when you start looking at the numbers you have a town of 10000 people and 3 hours a week that suddenly gives us 30000 hours of labor a week 30000 hours of labor we can suddenly match mercedes benz or any multinational corporation with our labor force and guess what it's a free labor force we're doing it for ourselves we don't have to pay anybody Mercedes Benz can't afford to pay 10,000 people a week. They can't, it'll put them out of business. Well, we do it ourselves willingly and that's the magic. That's the backbone of the one small town philosophy. It's that simple. So, we choose what businesses we want to start, how much food we want to grow, how many laptops we want to build, and we start these businesses. At the same time, we get together every day and every week and start fixing our town, fixing the potholes, the parks, the orphanages, the old age homes. setting up food kitchen so we can feed those that don't have food and so forth and it it just starts to flow but to manage all this you need a very powerful it or a platform and a blockchain so since pretty much august last year we started to, to build this blockchain of ours that can manage all of this and it it can do most of the functions it's a very powerful tool already but there's still a little a few hiccups here and there so we've in a way we've had to slow down the uptake of one small town until the blockchain is perfect and we don't have little surprise gremlins here and there because once this thing goes literally within 2 years we could have 100,000 small towns signing up on the blockchain wanting to do this very simple thing for themselves and we provide the tools for the business plans the project management the online accounting system the the issuing of the infinity tokens to the people when they've contributed their 3 hours to their businesses or their community project how do you measure it how do you know whether they've been there and contributed their 3 hours we've put all these mechanisms into place and it's very simple it's very very um, beautiful 